My father pointed out to me, I did not need to be a Jew to be a Zionist, for I am. Having grown up in the Bay Area, I fondly remember those Jewish national fund boxes that we would use to collect donations to plant trees for Israel. Years later, when I visited Israel for the first time, I saw the fruits of that effort and the Israeli ingenuity that has truly made a desert bloom. I apologize for repeating myself. I've spoken to you so many times, but were there not an Israel, the United States would have to invent one. Joe, my friend, welcome to Jerusalem. Good to be back. And as I toured Israel's Supreme Court, I was struck by the iconic architecture, which embodies Israel's founding principles of democracy and rule of law. The United States would have to invent an Israel. It's more than merely a moral obligation we have. It's a security necessity. So let me be clear about what I believe. I stand with Israel because of our shared values, which are so fundamental to the founding of both our nations. I believe the bonds between the United States and Israel are unbreakable and we can never let anyone drive a wedge between us. It's, it's for both Israel's sake and for the United States. The security of Israel and the United States is inextricably tied, and we will never, ever, ever abandon Israel out of our own self-interest. I believe Israel should never be a partisan issue, and as long as I'm a United States senator, I will do everything in my power to ensure broad, and bipartisan support for Israel's security and right to self-defense. And that is why the first resolution I co-sponsored as a United States Senator was to combat anti-Israel bias at the United Nations. And the difference between now and before 9-11, many Americans can taste what it must feel like for every Israeli mother and father when they send their kid out to school with their lunch to put them on a bus, on a bicycle, or to walk them. And they pray to God that cell phone doesn't ring. Every day, every day. And so let's get it straight. Israel is not the cause of Iraq. Iraq being settled or not settled has nothing to do with Israel's conduct. And as Iran continues to launch ballistic missiles, while it arms and funds its terrorist proxy Hezbollah, we must stand with Israel. The second part is, people should understand by now, this should be crystal clear, that Israel, Israel is the single greatest strength America has in the Middle East. I always say to my friends when they say those things to you, I say, imagine our circumstance in the world were there no Israel. How many battleships would there be how many troops would be stationed? As Hamas maintains its control of Gaza and fires rockets across Israel's southern border, border we must stand with Israel. In the midst of uncertainty and turmoil, America's support for Israel's security must be rock solid.